Okay guys, here's a short tutorial on how to uh, load up the announcements into a scrolling video and uh, get that loaded into ProPresent. Okay, so first thing, open up the Google Drive, go to the old announcements, uh, here's the latest one. Right click that guy, hit duplicate, and come up here to alter the name. Get rid of the copy, and change it to the latest date. And open that guy up. While that's going, come down here, find your bulletin. These things should get emailed to the AV Booth Gmail account. Um, it's loaded over here into Google Chrome. Uh, it should be auto uh, auto login, so I can get that uh, sign in info to everybody. All right, so looking at what we've got here. There is one slide, I've got one text box. So this text box has everything in it. And it just has one animation that scrolls. So if you come up here to the preview, you would see it's scrolling along. Um, the tricky thing with this guy is it will only go for 60 seconds. That's the max you can make it do. So you can set the starting position and the ending position. Um, <clears throat> so normally we have more things in the announcements than um, you can scroll at 60 seconds and still read. So what I've done is you'll set this to 60 seconds, which is the max. And then once we'll bring it into ProPresenter, um, it will, you can notice it scrolls slower. Um, the way to do that is you've got the analysis video over here to media properties uh, you'll notice that it's only uh, 60 seconds you know it shows that it starts at two I think two seconds ends at one minute two seconds I'm not sure why anyway come over here to properties and you can change the play rate uh, I've got it set at 44 percent right now uh, keeps it from getting too choppy you can see it's a slower, a lot more readable rate. And again, it it scrolls and loops. So if people miss it, they can just wait for it to come around the horn and read it again. Okay, so get back over here to uh, loading this guy up. So you've got your uh, word doc uh, that Lynn will email out and come in here and update these items for the week ahead. You can place them in here. Uh, once you get down here to the announcements, this is the the part that's semi tricky so I'll show you. Um, the way I do it, I'll select all of the stuff after the church in action. So this is like the first part of the announcements. Come over here. Select the the top <clears throat> uh, top paragraph, whatever. Uh, hit shift and 
that'll select everything from there. Uh, delete that. And then since I've got this copied, I'll hit Command V. So I'll paste it in. You can see it's like tiny black uh, font. Select that guy. Go over here to the right, hit Format, and it'll be in text. Go select the color wheel, change it to white, then crank your uh, font size up to 65. Change the font to Helvetica. All right, so that's got the first few in there. All right, then you'll go to the insert. This is when it gets a little bit different. So what I'll do, I'll select the top of the second page. Hit shift, up arrow, just to come up here and uh, delete all that extra stuff. Scroll back up to the top and select here, shift, end. <laughs> well, maybe not. Okay, probably shape page down will work. All right, so once you have all that selected, copy it, come back over here, make sure you've got a line between paragraphs. Uh, command V, just got everything. Select it all, go change the fonts again. Like it's got the background one. Yeah, let me get that out of the way. Um, so you can see it looks looks like it's uh, scrolling fine. So then you set the starting position where it's got the wicked glance right at the top. Depending on how long the rest of the announcements are, this will be in a different place. Sometimes it'll be way up here off the screen. It's hard to see. Uh, the best thing to do there is come up to view. Uh, up here, I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> okay, come out of zoom. Unselect auto center. And then you can scroll up here and grab it and move it down. I'll select. The uh, let's drag it up until it's got one line left. You can notice when it's when you're clicking on it, you have that yellow line. That means the text box is centered. Uh, same thing over here. So you got to start with it centered and end with it centered. And once you've got that going, go up here to file. Save and file export as a movie. Just leave all the defaults. And it, it's got the name, the announcements with the date. So if you're in Google Drive, select the first announcements. It'll overwrite that file. That file is linked into presenter. That way you'll save it and the next time you open ProPresenter that link will be active and it'll have the latest and greatest. Once that finishes creating a movie, come back over here to ProPresenter and we should have the new, uh, new announcements. I have to go past this stuff because it's I didn't update that. Once we're past there, we we'll can verify that we get the right file. And then the announcement should be done.
here we go. Yeah, it starts off with a prayer request, transfer of membership. All right, guys, that's how you do it. If you got any questions, give me a shout. And good luck.